I really got some good lighting, kind of. Okay, don't be running around, Milo. Just waiting for Mari to join. Very excited to have her. Right? Just give it a second, please. Yay. Pronouncing your name right? That's how you pronounce it. Yeah, it's Mari. Okay, cool. How are you? I'm doing good. Good. I'm so happy to have you on here. Um, how, where are you right now? In the, in... I am in my bedroom right now. What, what, where do you live? Flint, Michigan. Got it. Okay. That's what I was just making sure. Um, so thanks for, for coming on here today. I know it's maybe a little nerve wracking, but don't worry about it. Um, so I wanted to have you on here because you're pretty famous, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, because you're talking about what you're passionate about and people are really responding to that. Um, you've been such an activist for your town and then also for um, the Black Lives Matter movement. So. I know you're passionate about what's going on in Little Flint, so why don't you just kind of explain what you've been doing for your town, if that's okay. So, so I have been raising money for Flint, but then I am also doing this protest that I'm organizing on mm -hmm. Friday that includes the youth for the Black Lives Matter movement because we don't want no kids feeling left out Feeling like they can't do anything during these times. Right, right. And so for people who don't know, maybe people who are not in the U.S., what's happening in, in Little Flint? What's the, what's the problem that you're raising money for? So the problem here is the water, pretty much. And the water still is not fixed here yet, which is sad. But at the same time, they keep on saying they're going to fix it, but they never have fixed it. So mm -hmm. that's... So that's why I have my own water filter that's going out to people so they can have clean water since the government kind of like, kind of just owned us and said, no, you can't have any more free bottles of water at the water giveaway so they don't have those anymore. Yeah, right. So you're raising money and, and helping. And are you, <clears throat> are people still, do you have maybe, I'm sure you have a website or maybe a place where people can, there's my dog, a place where people can send money or water are, are they still doing that yep so i have a gofundme it's gofundme.com slash timori water okay all right that sounds good I'll, I'll put that i'll put that in our little description so people can people can do that um so how how have the past couple weeks been for you have you been i've seen videos of you going to some protests and and speaking and it's very brave of you to be speaking there does that make you nervous how's that been for you i love talking to people so it's not really nerve-wracking or anything that's good but um so how how has being at the protest been for you do you feel how, how does it make you feel what's happening in the world i feel powerful when i be at the protest at yeah. the same time it's like fun because like you get to see like a whole because like the whole community just comes together and like talks about what's going on and they start chanting and doing stuff right do you feel do you feel hopeful how do you feel about the situation do you feel um the people around you are being really supportive are your friends being supportive yeah, everyone's being supportive. That's wonderful. Even the police. Good. I'm glad to hear that. So, um, 
I guess I kind of just wanted to see if there was any, I know it's maybe it's a lot of pressure coming on here to talk, but everyone, everyone loves you so much and, and so appreciates what you're doing because you're so young. You're 13, right? How old are you? It's okay. Don't worry about it. How old are you? I'm 12. Oh, you're 12. Okay. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm going to be 13 in a month on July 6th. Amazing. Um, well, you're so young and you're already taking such responsibility upon yourself to, to talk to people about what's important to you. And that's really, really wonderful and admirable. Not a lot of people do that. And you're really, you really, so many people messaged me saying they were excited to, to hear you speak. Um, I guess I just, you know, is, is there anything else? There's obviously no pressure, but is there anything else you want to say?